Okay, in our lesson today, we're talking about even and odd numbers. And then we're also going to talk about how evens and odds can help us with multiplication and division. So first, let's explore what an even and an odd number is. I know I've given you even and odd numbers, but I want you to understand what it means to be even or odd. So let's say that we have a group of frogs. Right here I have four frogs. Four is an even number, and we know that because it says it right here. Even numbers end in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. Here's why. You're even when you can pair up with another number. So you make groups of two. Groups of two means that you're even. So let's say that these two frogs are going to be buddies, and these two frogs are going to be buddies, and they're going to hop together. They have somebody to talk to. That makes them even. Let's say that Mr. Red and Yellow over here decides to go away. Now I have three. Three is an odd number. Okay, so blue and green and yellow start talking, and they're tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, talking. And now my little green guy over here has nobody to talk to. He does not have a buddy. He is the odd man out. This is an odd number because I cannot make groups of two. All right? When you have an odd number, you have one by itself, okay? It cannot be paired together. So I have pairs are even. Non-pairs are not even. They are odd. Okay. Now my frogs are going to hop away. Okay. And we're going to talk about even and odd numbers here. So let me grab a pen. I'm going to go with purple today. Let's unlock this problem and figure out what it is we're supposed to be doing today. So unlock the problem. Grace and her sister choose pairs of factors. Remember, a factor is a number in a multiplication problem. And guess if the products, that's the answer to a multiplication problem, of their numbers are odd or even. What is the best guess for Grace? Will most of the products be odd or even? Let's read it one more time, now that we know what everything means. It says, Grace and her sister choose pairs of factors and guess if the products of the numbers are odd or even. What is the best guess for Grace? Will most of the products be odd or even? So this is the question that we are trying to answer. Will most of the products be odd or even? And remember, we have our even and odd numbers right here. Even numbers, odd numbers. So let's look at this. We're going to find the product and then determine if it is even or odd. So here I have two even factors. 8 is an even number and 4 is an even number because I can pair them into groups. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 frogs. I can pair these into groups of two, and everybody has somebody to talk to. All frogs have even groups. Therefore, eight is an even number, just like four is an even number, because I can group them into groups of two. So two even numbers. What is eight times four? Well, because I've been mul memorizing my multiplication numbers, I know that eight times four is 32. So is that an even or an odd number? Well, 3 is odd and 2 is even, so what do I do? Well, I look at the ones place. The ones place is going to determine if my number is even or odd. And since I have a 2 in the ones place, that makes this an even number. All right, what happens if I have an even and an odd number? Uh, factor. I have 2, whoop, which is even. My frogs have somebody to talk to. And then I have 7 is my other factor, which means blue over here is out by himself. He doesn't have a buddy. So this is not a group of 2. So I have an even number and an odd number. 2 times 7, because I've been memorizing my multiplication facts, I know that 2 times 7 is 14. Two groups of seven equals 14. I look at my ones place. 
I see that I have a 4, which is an even number. So my product is even. Okay, now I have two odd numbers to look at. I have 9, so I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Uh-oh. My guy here on the end doesn't have a buddy. He doesn't have anybody to talk to. He's like, oh, this really stinks. Okay, so 9 is an odd number. My other one is 5. So I have four frogs. If I add the fifth frog, this little pink guy has nobody to talk to. He's like, hmm. So five is odd. Does not make even groups. What happens when I multiply these two numbers together? Nine times five, because I've been memorizing my multiplication, I know that it is 45 for my answer. Oh, look, I have an odd number in the ones place. That makes this an odd number. Interesting. So if I multiply even times even, I get an even number. If I multiply even times odd, I get an even number. If I multiplied odd times odd, I get an odd number. Let's see what happens when I multiply odd times even. Okay, I have my three frogs. These two are totally riveting along doing their thing, and this guy over here is left out. He doesn't have a partner, so three is odd. But when some more frogs come along, now I have six right here. Six is even. They each have a buddy to talk to. Okay? So odd times even. Three times six, because I've been memorizing my multiplication facts, I know that 3 times 6 is 18. I have an 8 in my 1's place, place value. 8 is an even number. So let's go back and look at our question. Will most of the products be odd or even? Well, out of the four problems we did, three of the products were even numbers. Only one of them was odd. So here are some things to think about. It says blank out of four possibilities in the table result in a product that is an mm number. Three out of the four possibilities in the table results in a product that is an even number. So Grace should guess that most of the products will be even. All right. So what if Grace chooses 58 as a factor and her sister chooses 67? Would the product be an odd or an even number? Explain your answer. Well, let's look at the numbers. I know that 8 is an even number, so that makes 58 even. And I know 67 ends in a 7, which is odd. So if I did an even times odd, what kind of an answer am I going to get? Even times odd, I get an even number. So, would the product be an odd or an even number? I don't even have to do the multiplication to know that it's going to be an even number. Explain to me why. Well, because even times odd equals even. You get an even answer. Okay? Down here at the bottom, I'd like you to please try this. I will be looking at your answers. Next to each one of these, you have a box. All you have to write in there is even or odd. Okay? Which one do you think it's going to be, even or odd? So fill in the other four boxes because I just gave you the first two answers. Remember, you are using the ones place in your number to determine if it is an even or an odd number. Have fun. Don't forget to watch the video on the next page.